What's going on? We are moving into the upper section of the Grand Archives, but before we do, we need to come back here to the Firelink Shrine and see Orbeck a second, now that we've got these, uh, the Logan Scroll. Back again, I see. Perfect. Unfathomable. Crystal Scroll. This is a crystal sorcery created by the Pale Dragon. Thought only to exist in legend. I am ever grateful to you. This is truly sublime. I am afraid this is a debt I cannot repay. Only, I will be sure to unravel it for you. Just a moment. In Vinheim, I was an assassin. A sorcerer only in name. A killer for hire. What a fool I was, thinking one day I would learn real sorceries. When I became undead, I was exiled from the school. But here I am, now, exploring the depths of sorcery. All thanks to you, I might add. We need to buy his final sorceries. Now, if you don't have them, all of them together cost about 110,000 souls. So it's not too bad to go farm them up like down at the profane capital from Yorm's bonfire come back and do it now that we bought them all he should say something else you are no ordinary man all these sorceries and you've mastered every one if this were the dragon school you'd be well overtly despised and banished from the place well, I suppose it's time I pack my bags. I would hate to see our agreement end sourly. Better left, tucked away. That's a pleasant memory. You are no ordinary man. Alright, that's it from him. And we need to have sent Grey Rat out pillaging by now. I suppose if you haven't, you definitely need to do it. But we're going to go back to the Grand Archive and... Head higher up in. I still got that silver cat ring on. I need to consider a couple different rings as I make my way through here. There's a few different enemies to fight that don't make this just the easiest passage. The original for the uh, remastered Dark Souls 1 is on sale right now. I'm considering getting it for the PS4 and playing through it again. But man, it is a brutal game. I'm just going to run past this little thrall. Let him just get out of the way and... I'll take the elevator back up to the bridge that we had unlocked. Down here and back across the bridge and run or you're going to get magic from right over there. Two thralls up above, we need to kill them. avoid any damage that we can. I say that, I'm sure I'm about to take some. Now, one more thrall down here we might as well just have killed. As we'll be back this way after bit. And we'll head across the bridge and those chant with those um whatever they are, those guys right there fire on you as you pass. Now I'm gonna switch from the cat ring just for a second up to this magic ring as I'm about to get hit with a little I think. I don't want to take much damage from it. If you get too much of it in a row it can be pretty serious. 
take that large crestfallen knight's soul. Come right around in here to kill this one while he's summoning that. But we don't want to miss this chest over here. And the three titanite scales it gives us. That's pretty nice. Alright, upstairs and directly to the right for the crystal lizard. Back here. Gotta have this wax on. He'll take just so much damage. There's the flesh bite ring. And out we go. Now, next ring to switch to. You can put on the flamestone plate ring or the or this steel protection ring. Uh, we've got three big gargoyles to fight. Two of them do use fire. With all that, I probably should have had the fire ring on. Well, when they, just like the ones down in the profane capital, when they put that wing up like that, don't attack. Work your way around the left. Every time you hit it, they just slap you with it, knock you open, and then are able to club you with whatever they, you know, mace or spear. Notice the one up to the left we'll get in a minute, but... We've got one with the spear right here, lance, whatever it is. up the attack and get them staggered before they start getting that wing out of this place. It's so much easier. Flame Spear. Weary Warrior. And we're going to draw him down here as there are two Crystal Lizards up there. And we are going to try our best to get them both in one go. crazy that the bow seems to do so much to him when he's sitting up there. There he's got his wing up, remember, so go around the left. I keep getting right in my way. got the two crystal lizards up here. I'll go around the side of them. I'm going to come to this first one first here. He's dead. Run this one down. There they are. Look at all that good stuff for me. Now, I'm going to switch rings again. Back to the cat ring as we are going to drop down here in a second. Put over the bow and take out these Corvian, I think they're called, people. Like part crow, maybe. That's what a corvid is. to just draw these guys over. Shoot them a few while they're doing all that. It should draw them right underneath you. If you can hit them. I surprise myself at how bad I am at the archery sometimes. And annoy myself with how good I can be and not have it in the video. Well, 
Now that we've got them all right about their cat ring. Sorry, fellas. I do a lot of ring changing through here. Gradually level my, or heal me a little bit as I move around. Pick it up. Now there's the Lothric Knight, and if you go back inside, you cross the bridge that we crossed to begin with, where we got the wax on our head and ran back across it. Swallow this around, and right over this roof is this area, which I've seen. I don't know how many people die because they bounce into that and then slide off down in there. I've done it before. So here's Grey Rat's corpse. That's a very sad sight, but this will unlock things that he only sold a few of, including the lightning urns. We'll take the Titanite scale, make another jump. And you'll see where we are. Right back here where we dip our head. I'm going to, um, not that I need to, I suppose, back across the bridge, save a little of that stamina for running down here. That Sunlight Princess ring works pretty good when you're running around not fighting anything. It's nice instead of wasting your Estus flasks. We're going right back to where we killed those two crystal lizards and instead we're not going to drop off to where the Corvians were but go further up. step up here. Now before I drop down there I am gonna switch out rings again and watch to the right. Look up, there's another gargoyle up there actually. This is not a bad place to fight him. He has a hard time really hitting you. You can be right underneath him. And he will jump off sometimes. There's the wing. than I wanted to give him, but I got him. Now, you don't have to fight him. Damn that wing of hits. But they're not too bad. That getting left of the r wing is very important. So we'll take tight night chunk and maybe enjoy a hard fought view up here for a minute hard one those gargoyles can wear you out pretty quick look at this high wall all right another drink I should have had my cat ring on that'll cost me another drink Ember. It's strange, it seems like these guys are singing. Mm -hmm. 
the other one did that. That was past the Boreal Outrider. You want to kick this ladder down here for your shortcut. I could go get some more Estus Blast, but I think I'm all right. Dip our head again as we make our way down this hallway. I, I'm not sure if there are any hands that come out and get you, but better safe than sorry. him, get out my knives and look to this guy right here. Those big Kirkry knives are often the bane of big weapon wielders, at least they were when I PvP'd a lot. You'll see when he gets up here. They can really interrupt him, and they do a fair amount of damage. Not quite as much as that crystal sword would do. But I just need him to make one mistake, really. Come on. That was the mistake I had my chance. Wow. <laughs> He's like, all you have to do is make one little mistake. And you are dead. I'll take that. And wish that I had used my bone shard things. Three Estus Flasks back and the toughest fight of the entire thing now, right over out the other door. Tight night chunk, but we're going to do all we can to cheese win this. Notice the three NP seats. Terrible at it. Now, well, I'm going to lead him back in here. Don't worry, they'll follow you. Just keep going. You want to run back out this window, they'll hang up on that chair right there. him. Now, he's like a Black Hand Gothard kind of individual. I would like to have more stamina for that, but that's two of them down. I'll eat that and take these items from him. One more thing I think I will do is add in here because this guy's magic is incredible put the old he's not gonna do anything to us with this stuff two Estus Flasks to go we've got the element of surprise kind of he's probably out here yeah <laughs> Surprise my ass, he says. Oh. Harry. Oh. 
soul spear. That was bad for him. That was bad for me. Damn! Him and that parry, those little wizards? Die, bastard. Sage Crystal Staff, well. I'll take all the drinks I want now. Look at some of the statues for a second. Covered in wax. Or something. There's that crestfallen knight. And... There's the elevator down. That's the way to the twins. Well, we're not going that way. We're going to take the elevator down and unlock the shortcut back up to them. I kicked everyone's ass, though I didn't fight those three guys out in the open, which is just tough as can be. That's nice. Well, I'll thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you in another video. I gotta pull that lever again.